Hello, I'm Eric. And I'm Melissa. And for today's video celebrating 30 years with the Sega Master System, we're going to talk about one of the Master System's most prolific third-party developers, which is <laughs> Activision. It? Yeah, with all four games, Activision represents the biggest third-party publisher of Sega Master System games in the U.S. Wow. Yeah, that's it. Um, and here they are. Here are all four of them. Easily identifiable by their non-white packaging. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Let's... They wanted to stand out. Yeah, they did. They did. Let's jump right into it. Uh, we'll start alphabetically with Bomber Raid. I think this was the last game released for the Master System in Japan. Oh. It wasn't the last released in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a 2 mega power game. It is a vertical shoot up much like 1943 or 1942. Uh, doesn't have the neat little zzzz move, but uh, it's got a bomb that'll go through and clear out the front of the enemies, or the, the, the enemies in front of you. Um, you're in a little plane, shooting other planes, getting power-ups, getting bombs. You can get little know, um, drones that'll fly next to you and stuff like that. So I enjoy this game. It's, it's pretty tough. I don't think I've gotten very far in it. And I thought Power Strike was tough. This is this I've not gotten nearly as far, in, but uh, very enjoyable. I always like the vertical shoot ups. So. Okay, that's Bomber Raid. Okay. Next is Cyborg Hunter. Now, I think we got this at the pawn shop. Oh, in the month's pawn shop day? Pawn shop day, prior to Rick V Day. Uh, I wasn't really impressed with this game. I didn't think the music was that great. I thought the graphics were weird. My brother liked it, though. He played it a lot. Um, you are a cyborg. You kind of look like Robocop, I mm -hmm. guess. And the idea is to make your way through this... It's not a maze. It's like a It's like a building of five levels with these rooms. And you, you move forward, you know, move left and right, you can take elevators up and down, and it's probably a little bit maze-like. Even in the first level I played, you couldn't get to one, you had to go up and then go around and come back down and around. Um, interesting part about it is there's like a sort of a first-person radar, so you can kind of see what's coming while it's still off-screen. Um, I don't really know much more about it. There's some power-ups you're supposed to get, and uh, I haven't gotten too far in this game. It seems okay. My, brother's, my brother liked it, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is Cyborg Hunter. Third, 
Galaxy Force. Ooh. This okay. game, it says right on there, I graphics know. that will kill you. This game looks awesome. Yeah. And I remember thinking about maybe trying to get this game even back in 88 or 89. It's a four mega game. Uh, it looks gorgeous in the screenshots. When you oh. play it, it's really jerky and uh, really low frame rate. Really, it's re almost to the point where it's hard to tell what's going on. But the graphics are good. It's a lot like Afterburner, to be honest with you. You have guns that shoot forward, and you, so you're flying the spaceship. And it's a, it's like Afterburner, so it's sort of a first person or behind the ship view. And you've got guns, and you've got missiles, and the missiles are track. And then, uh, so the first half of each level is kind of like Afterburner, and then you go into a tunnel, and you got to veer left and right. And uh, I am sure, I think this is an arcade game. I'm sure in the arcade, the, the, everything's scaled really nice mm -hmm. and smooth. Mm -hmm. On the Master System, it doesn't. It's really hard to tell what's going on. I'm constantly crashing the walls. Um, there is a Galaxy Force 2 for the Genesis that I bought once. Um, I bought it at GameStop, and I think I owned it for like three days before returning it. Because even that version wasn't, wasn't that great. But uh, I may try to do it again. But, uh, it's a very um, ambitious title. It's a very ambitious title for an 8-bit system, and uh, I don't know. I had, I had trouble with it. That is Galaxy Force. Okay. Neat silver packaging. I know it's like the it's like the flashiest of them. You yeah, know? yeah. I think that's part of it. That's because like, it's four mega. I wonder if they these are like two mega. The black and the silver is four mega, and maybe the nope, that's no, a two that's mega two game mega. too. So now, I just think this is you know because it's got the killing graphics. So it's killer graphics. Be, yeah. Had to be. Flashy. I have the I have the uh, import the PAL version of this too, and it just came in a white. Mm. I had to rebuy it because I needed the U.S. version. Mm. All right, and finally, Rampage. Are you familiar with this? This is an arcade game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and of course now there's a movie. Right? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, there's a movie with The Rock. Yes, The Rock. So yeah, Rampage. What's the deal? Uh, you are smashing the city. Yeah. Right, and um, you are uh, one of the animals, right? You're, you're like, a giant. You're yeah. like King Kong. Yeah. You know? And uh, going through the city and smashing it up. There's a giant ape. Mm -hmm. There's a giant There's like a lizard. lizard. Yeah. And the Master System actually has all three characters. Uh, mm -hmm. The giant, uh, I think it's a wolf. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the, the gameplay is pretty pretty basic. You are a giant creature, and you are there to destroy the city mm -hmm. before you can be shot down yes. with helicopters, and people are throwing bombs at you, and you can be electrocuted, all kinds of stuff. But this is a two-player game, and all, you know, everybody should be familiar with it. Uh, it's, a pretty good, it's a pretty good translation on the Master System. will do it for the biggest third-party publisher on Whoa. the Master System, at least in the U.S. Activision made four games. We just saw all of them. <laughs> and uh, I didn't own any of these uh, growing up. I, uh, I got these all uh, since uh, Pawn Shop Day or Rick V Day Rick or Day. later. Yeah. So yeah, that ought to do it. Okay. So we hope you continue enjoying our video series and check back for more videos as we celebrate 30 years with the Sega Master System.